How you doing? This is Laz Alonzo on the Lexus Icon Man red carpet, and you are watching Celebrities Who Give. Hello, I'm Jason Ritter, and you're watching Celebrities Who Give. Hi, I'm Heather Graham, and you're watching Celebrities Who, Who Give, and you should give to the Cambodian Children's Fund run by Scott Neeson. Hi, we're Mary and Ted, and you're watching Celebrities Who Give. April is Autism Awareness Month, and we're here at the second annual Listen Up Autism Speaks Benefit Concert, raising awareness for autism. Children are maybe about 25% of our population, but they're 100% of our future. And if we don't figure out what's going on with these kids, we're behind the eight ball, and we can't be there. It helps people with children who have uh, that are on the spectrum, help them understand it, um, learn, educate themselves and others about it. It's a deep issue. Uh, it's, a, it's an issue that lasts an entire lifespan. And we need to uh, make sure that we take care of the children and adults that have autism. We're trying to use the gifts that God gave us musically to be able to touch people in a way that they'll respond, to be able to be aware of autism and help raise money for a treatment and cure for it. Absolutely. What do you think is important about the cause of autism? Everything. I think that uh, today there's such a stigma with kids who have autism and I think that um, we really need to make society in general be more aware and to be more forgiving and to be more tolerant and I, I mean I think that holds true for many things but especially autism. Being a parent of a child with autism, what can you speak out for other parents that maybe want to um, help their children along the path and make it a little bit easier for them? What, would, what advice would you give them? I would say go online and Google Autism Speaks and get all the help you can. There's free advice. They're willing to talk to you. They're willing to help you. Um, this organization has done wonders for the autistic community. We need a partnership and we need to bring the educators and the policymakers and parents and researchers, everyone to the table to address the issue and that starts right from day one, from birth uh, and then certainly with the diagnosis which we can do now as early as age two, and getting everybody to the table to make sure that, that once the diagnosis is made that there's access to affordable care and affordable services. It can cost a family $60,000 out of pocket to pay for speech therapy and occupational therapy. And the public schools now are inheriting kids at age five and six who have had no therapy at all because the parents couldn't afford it or the diagnosis wasn't made properly. So we've got to work with the pediatricians around the country and, the, and as I said, and the, and the educators to make sure that we're all looking at this right from the beginning. Your event actually raised over $250,000 last year, which is wonderful. Um, what do you think is special about Autism Speaks um, in terms of an organization? I know there's all autism-related organizations are beneficial. What's special about Autism Speaks? Well, we've funded $200 million of private research since we started in 2005. And first and foremost, we're a science and advocacy organization. We've advocated for state insurance reform. 34 states, we've gotten insurance uh, to cover behavioral therapies. And on a national level, we lobby every single day for federal legislation that protects and improves the lives of people who are living with autism. With our music and our friends and the ability to interact musically, we're trying to entice people to get involved and to try and figure out what is exactly going on. It gives you a platform, pretty much. That's how, how it, what's cool about it is, it, it is there's a platform for your for your ability and the in the in the abilities it's changed my life. I was I was misdiagnosed for a very long time, and I, and when I finally got my diagnosis of autism, um, I was going through a very rough period uh, period in my life because it was actually my tics were brought on by a medication that I was given after a surgery. We are helping educate families that are affected by it. Um, giving them a place to go, kind of like a clearinghouse for information and stories and hope uh, for families, especially when they come into a diagnosis and they first find out that their child is autistic, and even for adults. And, um, you know, Autism Speaks is a great organization for that. It's a chance for us to tell other people that they should join, join the cause, that a lot of good can come from lending your name and your influence to something that's as important as autism.